In upstate New York, there are two guys creating some dangerous and risky explosions, all in the name of science. This is Ingo. I'm Ingo Sonder. I work for the Center for GIZ Studies at the University of Buffalo. And this is Andrew. My name is Andrew Harp. I am a PhD student at the University of Buffalo. The researchers studying large-scale disasters, more specifically volcanic eruptions. Currently we work on an experiment on explosive magma water interaction. But there's a problem. There's no lava in upstate New York. So they made their own. They start with rocks. 50 to 60 kilograms of rock. We melt it in our furnace. Uh, this takes four hours, roughly. The rock liquefies and can reach more than 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. We then pour the molten rock from that furnace into a container. And into that container, we inject water and hope that uh, the water interacts dramatically with uh, our molten rock. It's almost impossible without being there to understand how much heat is uh, put off uh, by this, this lava. I have to wear a aluminized suit, a jacket and a kind of pants. I have to wear that for protection from, from potential splashes and most importantly from the heat radiation that comes out there. We want to understand better a magma water interaction and that actually occurs in explosive volcanic eruptions. The goal would be to be able to predict exactly the size and timing of the reaction that we have. I feel uh, fortunate to be working with something that's so unique that it's only done in a few places in the entire world right now. And to be at the forefront of this research is great. 